Hello there, how you doing yet again? Right, another wee video with a difference here. Now, this is not a recommendation video. This is me reminiscing yet, yet, yet again. Right, what you're looking at here is Bruce Lee's Society newsletters that I got back in the day. Now, the top row here, they're originals. When I was in the fan club, that these are the original ones that get sent to me. That was the last one that I ever received. That's from March 1982. Right, these ones here, these are photocopies. And they are absolutely spot on. I love being in this fan club. I was actually in three back in the day. I was in this one and I was in two in the 90s. So very, very cool. And they're absolutely, it brings back some great memories. And there was a guy called Carol Fox decided to do a book concerning the Bruce Lee Society, a retrospective look at Bruce Lee mania and the Kung Fu craze of the 70s. These book, uh, there's a hardback edition and a softback edition. Now, I was featured in a few, some of these newsletters. Now, one, I got a photo, print it, and I, that's the photograph that was printed in the September 1981. Was it September 1980? Aye. September 1980. I was 17 year old when that photo got taken. That's me standing outside the back door of my old house up at Myers Crescent. I was sitting uh, there. Look at the haircut there. A nice bowl cut. That's a Kung Fu Monthly and I've still got the orig that original KFM. Also sent in two, two of these. I traced these. I never drew these number on fair Sundays. Right, I never try. I never, I can't, I can't draw. But I just traced them and coloured them in and done all that. Yeah, but you did stupid things when you back in the day. I done that one and I done that one as well. They knew they were, look at them, it's too bloody perfect. I traced them through thingies, then I coloured them in and tried to do the best I could with them and all that carried on. Now, these are the originals that I sent into KFM and I got them sent back. After they printed them, I got them sent back to me. Very, very cool. Absolutely spot on. So there you go. I claim to fame, I've got that stuff in there. I've also got things concerning pen pals and all that in there. And they sent out a Christmas greeting card. This is a replica of that as well. Very cool. Excellent. And because of this, I went to this event in 1980. Because I was in the society, I went to this event as well. So very cool. But concerning uh, the books, if you ever fancy finding out about this, this is a book to get. Every newsletter that was ever sent out from the fan club it used to be called the Bruce Lee Secret Society, and then it changed it to the Bruce Lee Society in 1970. Is it 77 or 78? So there we go. Absolutely phenomenal book. If you're a fan of KFM, the photo I showed you, that's the original. There it's there. <laughs> I know. I used to love getting these back in the day, man. I see, I'm, I'm asked for pen pals. I actually, and I did help some do it. There's a, a girl on it, she got her Bruce Lee stuff stolen. So we, a lot, of, a few Bruce Lee fans sent her some Kung Fu monthlies and other things, and I'll get mentioned for that as well. So there you go. I'm just reminiscing about the past there. But imagine keeping these things for 40 odd year. I'm definitely not getting rid of the 40. So, if you're ever in a Bruce Lee fan club, let me know. If you fancy getting these books, go to Carol Fox's page on Facebook, Punch In Kung Fu Monthly, and see if there's any available. I think there is some stuff. You might get about man, the special edition ones and stuff like that. With a hardback edition, uh, you get this tote bag full of goodies. You can keep the hardback book in it as well. Brilliant. Absolutely spot on. Well, thank you for watching yet again, News Lot. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.